morning everyone um, I am just headed on my standard test route one to see if we can make this a zero disengagement drive um, so that's what we're gonna do today I just want to see if everything stays consistent with the previous drives out and see how we do as always I would like to thank everyone that watches and that are subscribed to me I can tell um, who is subscribed it gives me a little little button next to your name or even the ones that I've commented most on or comment on my videos the most and of course we're having the same issue just for the light of being stubborn we're not going to count that since this is a consistent bug uh, we're not going to count that it's the same spot every time and I'm gonna maybe press the camera button will notify them of the issue but um, yeah, but yeah. Again, I appreciate everyone watching and the comments. I, I noticed that several of you comment regularly on the videos, and I appreciate that. I know you know who you are that are commenting every time, and I appreciate the interaction with everyone. So again, this is exactly how I like this turn to be. Every previous update would do that turn wrong. Uh, it would be too close to the right, but that turn was much better. It just needs to turn on the blinker, and right here. You can see it's really confused. It needs to obviously improve. And I'm gonna press the camera button there. Maybe, just maybe that will allow them to tell, hey, there's nothing there. The car behind me is merging over. My car just won't get over. Everything went automatic and then it kind of swerves like that. Um, and I don't like to swerve. So that it, room for improvement, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if maybe this will work over the next couple of versions to improve that, but we'll see. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you off the highway. the highway here and we'll see how it handles these cars it is braking rather aggressively good braking um, could have slowed down a little bit sooner of course uh, but much better than previous previous times through here there's a car behind me wanting to get on the highway I'm pressing the accelerator just to give it a little bit more confidence because it was trying to slow down to let that car go by. There's a cyclist on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. Um, that is super edge case. <laughs> it should have been on the wrong side of the road. Also, I'm going to cancel our navigation here because I don't want to go that route. Yeah, so um, obviously it wasn't going to hit it. It should have slowed down for sure. Um, it should have slowed down for, for sure going to that cyclist. Um, yeah, the problem is it, it did swerve around it right as I, um, I you could tell it was swerving um, around the cyclist right as I changed lanes. I mainly changed lanes. I'm like, no, it should not be like head on going to the cyclist. Maybe he like rethought his life decisions um, as I was barreling towards him. Um, definitely on the wrong side of the road, but um, I'm gonna re-navigate us and bring us back. <laughs> so I did that turn well. I'm glad we didn't hit the red light because that probably would have been our disengagement because yeah, there is a sign that says no right turn on red right there and so it would have tried to have gone most likely based on previous 
signs like that. I'm gonna go ahead and get us in the left lane um, and also speed us up to 27 because every oh goodness um, everyone goes 10 over on this this section of the road right here. Um, I'm not exactly sure why that why it swerved over like that. I'm gonna have to could be because the lines aren't being detected very well. I'm not sure why it's detecting it as a yellow line when it's clearly a, a solid white line. But. And we're gonna go up in speed as I like. And a commenter suggested actually that I should turn my offset off, and I think he, he or she is right. Um, yeah, because I do notice because of the beta, I am turning my offset down a lot over what I would normally drive. And we're going to get in the left lane here this time. You should be in the left lane unless you are specifically going into the bank right there. Or you are going into, um, I think Joey's bagels. So let's press it through. That's our god. Okay, the car person behind me probably thinks I'm drunk, but um, that was our disengagement. It completely failed at the intersection again. It's made it through a couple times, but um, just didn't make it this time. Expect right here it's gonna go through this intersection again. I'm gonna actually disengage since this is not what this video is about and I'm gonna record a snapshot. Um, this video will be about the cyclist um, in front. So I was actually thinking about just not doing this video today. Um, but I'm kinda glad I did because the cyclist was definitely a very good edge case. Um, should not be on the oncoming center of the road. Again. The person behind me probably thinks I'm drunk. It should not go here. Again. Okay, so this was a terrible drive today. Terrible drive. Um, no, don't even think. Stop thinking about it. <laughs> I shouldn't go here either. Okay, now it can go. There it goes. I'm not. I didn't touch any accelerator. So yeah, not good drive today. Several mess ups, but um, I did avoid the cyclist, and that's what this video is going to be about: is avoiding that edge case there. Um, as always, again, I appreciate everyone watching, and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.